welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with our another, sorry, but you gotta get them in. It's almost Christmas. I have a little tiny Dollar Tree haul for you today, and then I will do the Christmas tour of my house. So, last minute, I know I've mentioned this before, it happens, life gets busy, right? So you got some last minute stuff to pick up, and I'm telling you, winner, winner, chicken dinner, okay? I had to run and get some bows, which I love the fact that they sell these bags. There is 30 bows in each bag, and you get all different colors in there. You have some green, blue, white, red, gold. I love this. $1.25 for 30 bows, which I still think is such a fantastic deal. So super excited about that because I need the bows. I almost forgot about the bows this year, but... When I'm done wrapping everything, I just kind of start slapping bows on everything, <laughs> so I'm happy I got them. Um, I saw these. Now we'll skip that for one second. I saw these too, which made me excited. Now, I haven't seen these before, but my daughter had like shown interest in making her own candles, and I just happened to look down and see that they had candle making sets. This is what the box looks like. It has... Well, you know what, maybe we'll just open one so you can see it without destroying the box. That was already ripped, but so it comes with this really cute little candle holder. It already has the wick inside, as you can see, and then it comes with three different smells. We have lavender, magnolia, and Asian lily, and they come in these three little individual bags. They are labeled to tell you which is which, and these cute little Ziploc bags here and you make them like in layers. So does anybody remember like sand art? I remember going to the beach when I was younger and that was like the biggest thing you had to have to, you had to have, a, you had to do was make sand art. I loved making sand art in bottles and stuff. So it's kind of like the same concept here. You could do it like this. You could do it like that. You could do it like this. There's a million different ways that you can pour these uh, wax beads in here. So very easy directions. It says fill the wicked, it says wicked, right? Yeah, wicked jar with scented granules. Layer them to create designs and patterns. Trim wick to one fourth inch before lighting. Light the candle and enjoy. So super easy, it sounds. Sorry to make them. So I thought that was really cool, but I thought that was neat. And I know she's just starting out making candles. So I thought that was just kind of really cool to pick up for her to kind of play with and learn how to do them. So there was a couple different sets. I want to say four different ones. I got two. Pretty sure there was four. So I have pictures of those as well to put after. I'll put the pictures after this part of the video and then it'll go into the, you know what I'm saying, Christmas tour of the house. <laughs> so I got the second one here. It says it has apple cinnamon magnolia and apricot citrus so that's they sound like they smell pretty good so i thought that was really cool and it just says do it yourself on the bottom there so i thought that was neat for her to do that was i think the only christmas -y. that's not true i found this coffee cup there that i thought was really neat it says must have coffee I am not a coffee drinker. My mother is. And I just thought this was cute to give to her because I just thought it was neat. Like it feels, I don't know how to explain what it feels like. It feels different than other coffee cups, if that makes any sense. But I thought it was really cute. Must have coffee. But I thought that was really cute. So I picked that up. And then I was just like in the sticker section and saw these different stickers that I thought were really cute. Because I was thinking about like, little kid names and putting adding names to things like the like how I made the um, the elf on the sh not the elf on the shelf but the elf cams back there so they have these really cool stickers I love the different colors here you get how many it doesn't tell me so you get the whole alphabet really it doesn't tell me <laughs> it doesn't okay so you get the whole alphabet it looks like you get one uppercase one lowercase letter of each one and then you got some numbers down here but I just loved like the little polka dots, the little plain ones. The colors are very bright and inviting, you know, really cute. So they like kind of screamed girl to me. And then I got these stickers that kind of screamed boy to me. So super 
cute. Those designs are like wacky, but I love them. So this one here only comes with the letters, not the numbers. Super cute though. Um, I picked up some of these shower curtain rings. It is a 12 pack. I got white ones because I had clear, but I wanted to add, see, <laughs> I hung my Christmas shower curtain and it still has the fall leaves holding it up. I haven't replaced them yet. I was gonna replace them with clear hooks, but then I thought the white hooks would be better. It's literally days before Christmas. My shower curtain reads Merry Christmas and I haven't changed them yet. But so I, when I saw the white ones, cause I only saw the clear ones the last time I bought them. So I wanted to go with white instead. I just felt like it would match the shower curtain better, which is fine. I don't care. I'll leave the leaves on there this year. Like <laughs> it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. So I have these for next year. I got some candy. Just some candy to throw in some stockings. Of course, I picked up another bag of the Andes mint candies that I love. This is a three ounce bag. They make me happy. So I got those. I just picked up, this is Palmer making candy fun. This is a five ounce bag of double crisp, chocolatey and smooth crisp and crunchy candy. They're super cute. They have little pictures, so that's probably really loud, I apologize. They have cute little Christmas pictures on each little piece of candy and they're wrapped in like a foil. So we got those. And then I just picked up two of these little Lindor truffles. These are so good. Um, <laughs> these are the milk chocolate ones. This is irresistibly smooth, completely correct. I love them. They have, I think, I don't know, maybe like two in here to be honest. It doesn't say. So I would say two, three at the most that are in these little bags, but I just think they're really cute. So I had to grab some. So we have two of them here. And of course, I walked by and they only had one of the apple cinnamon Airwick oil, ooh, oil things that I like. So I had to get it. It was the last one that was there because again, these usually only comes out in fall and then they take it away. So I had to make sure that I grabbed it. I am obsessed with this. I love it. So that one was mine. Nobody else would get it. Um, <laughs> I forgot, I picked up some little paintbrushes. This is a three piece set. They're tiny little ones for some detail work, little edges, little things you gotta get into to paint. Um, so I got those while I was there. They have like these nice little blue handles, gold top, so cute. And they have numbers on them. So you have a shader, there's two shaders and a round brush. So that's nice, three of them. And then I just picked up a couple more things for New Year. Oh, and of course I got my paper towels that I need. It says 176 sheets per roll custom sizes so you can depending on how you rip them you can take one sheet two sheets three sheets however many you need and I get these all the time I swear by them 25% more sheets I love them so I like to get those there and then I picked up these I got these one other time I was there they're right here I got it in that really cool silver glitter and then I picked up the black glitter ones because I'm like in love with these. I think they're really cool. So we have some party poppers here. There we go. Some nice little party poppers, but I had to get them in the black as well. So they are so stinking cute, right? So you have a silver top, a gold top, but oh, I love them. I got that. And then I just got these fringe squawkers. There's 12 in each pack. And you know, you blow into here, it makes loud noises, and then the little fringy things blow everywhere. They're fun, okay? It's fun at midnight to make, you know, as much noise as you possibly can. And these will, whoop, and these will do it. So I got 12 of these, a 12 pack of these, not 12 packs of them, because they're fun. It's fun. I can't believe that it's almost that time already, but we are here. So it's the end of the year. It's crazy. I can't believe it, but <laughs> that is all I have for you guys today as far as the Dollar Tree haul is concerned. 
right after this I will post the pictures of things um that I took pictures of that's not what I meant to say um <laughs> pictures of like the alternate things that you could get or the different colors of things that I did pick up today and then as soon as the pictures are over it will turn into the Christmas walkthrough of my house I hope that everyone has a fantastic day Merry Christmas Happy New Year I will probably post again obviously before New Year but this week will I think tomorrow I'm posting a video as well and then that will be it until after Christmas so I hope everybody has a fantastic holiday and until next time bye now Okay guys, so we are just gonna start right here in the one craft room and this is my tree. So got the tree at five below a couple of years ago and this is all decorated with all Dollar Tree items. So look how stinking cute. Well, I lied, not all Dollar Tree because these came from Walmart but they were 98 cents at Walmart. Um, <laughs> So some of this stuff was 98 cents from Walmart. The rest was from the Dollar Tree. So we do have this here. And then you come right over here and we have those lanterns I made, those street post lantern things I made. And then we have the elf cam keeping an eye on us. <laughs> And then below here, we have those gorgeous glittery Christmas trees. And we have those there. So super cute stuff. That's about all I do as far as decorating in this craft room is concerned. Just what is behind me. Trust me, you don't want to see the rest. <laughs> We're going to move on into this room. This is just a spare room that I have. Now, most of these ornaments on this tree came from... I want to say Walmart and the Dollar Tree. Now, some of these, like these, sorry, these here. Last year when I found these, if you guys remember, they were all 98 cents at Walmart. And then we have some dollar ones from the Dollar Tree. But this is actually like, Chloe kind of claimed this room. So this is, I joke around and say this is her Christmas tree. But super cute. She's actually right over here. There she is. She has her little Christmas bow on. Say hi. Say Merry Christmas. <laughs> and then this is just the bathroom door. That was the little sign that I did with, you know, the not challenge, but collab with my mom. So that is that. Hopefully we will come in here. So this is my curtains you can see the lights on the outside i'm not going to turn the big light on in here just so you can kind of get a thing but those are all plastic ornaments this year i had glass ones up there big mistake because chloe will jump in that window and then knock them down so but we had just some really cute things in here might have to turn the light on for those but this is just my little setup in here so we have the trees there are from the dollar tree and then 
the Santas, well, the Santas, the snowman, and the reindeer, if you remember, they came from Dollar General, and they were $2 a piece, but they were so worth it because they are so cute. Then we just have the garland around the bathroom wind window mirror, and then this was the, oh, it's hard to get a picture of this, the shower curtain that I was talking about that, yes, still has the fall leaves holding it up. <laughs> so just moving right along into the kitchen these are the cabinets that I told you I put ribbon and bows on now the ribbon and the bows all came from the Dollar Tree and then of course the oven mitts from the Dollar Tree and then you have the top now I bought these at the Dollar Tree a couple years ago and I want to say I don't know if that was from the Dollar Tree or not. I have a feeling it wasn't. I know that the salt and pepper shakers were not, but we have that. And this is just like kitchen pictures that I had that I wrapped. The, the wrapping papers from Walmart bows are from the Dollar Tree and so are those little poinsettias there that have like the little clips on them that I just hang on there just to make it a little bit more Christmassy. I do use, don't mind the mess, um, I have the, uh, wow, red and black plaid table, table placemats in the kitchen. Those are the little Orby things that I made with the water still holding strong. And then up top, I use all that garland, what is it, 10 or 12 feet garland you get from the Dollar Tree, and it goes all around my doorways, on like every one of my doorways. And then I just have these little bows, like the poinsettia bows that go there. And then these all came from the Dollar Tree as well. And I have all the little rugs. So, I mean, I have this rug here from before, but I just added the merry and bright ones on top and that's throughout. And I have all the little door ringers up. I did hang that that I made on the fridge with one of those uh, magnet hooks that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I did that there. And then I just have, don't mind the mess guys, um, <laughs> some of the tinsel trees down here. Moving over here, there's a wreath that I made last year with all Dollar Tree items, which I was a little upset because I didn't see these tinsel wreaths there at all this year. But those little presents actually came from Walmart. They have little clips on them. They came from Walmart last year. That is something that my mother made a couple years, a few years ago. More of the garland around the doorways. And we're just gonna come on in here through the hallway. I do have the, those are those little oil lamp lanterns, the fake ones that I made last year that have uh, little tea light candles in them. And then more of the garland from the Dollar Tree. Here is that little tree that I bought from this for this year down here. These are, this one here is filled some Dollar Tree and a lot from Dollar General. Like when I got all those $1 ornaments from Dollar General. And yes, I did use my little tree skirt. That, what did I say? Collar, tree collar that I made from all dollar store items our stockings made these a couple years ago with dollar tree stuff the lantern that i made here with dollar tree stuff my table kind of a little messy but there is our little glass snowman that i made again using pretty much all dollar tree stuff the glitter i think wasn't these i made last year the little candy dishes that look like little light poles and the little centerpiece, again, all Dollar Tree, which I'm trying to show you at least. There is the other one that Candy's gone, um, <laughs> the other one that we made. And then, of course, you guys remember him. I just made him the other day. The table runner is from the Dollar Tree. These gorgeous placemats are from the Dollar Tree as well. And we have, like, the garland again, signs from the Dollar Tree. And then moving into the living room with the living room tree that has this glow star on it. Now, of course, these this tree here has more personal ornaments that I've gotten throughout all of the years. 
There is a ton of them on there from when the kids were in school. There is some Dollar Tree ones as well. Some from Christmas tree shop, but super cute. And then right over at the TV, I don't know what's on. Um, those are the little things that I made. It was Christmas in July when I made those. It makes them look like they're standing on like a nice hunk of wood there. Candle is hollowed out and has a tea light in the center. And then we have the little gift box that I made, the light up gift box here. And then you just have some really cute things hanging here. That is a glass mistletoe that my mom bought me years ago. It is super stunning. I love it. And then I think, really, what do we have over here? Mom made those a couple years ago as well. They're so cute. And then we have these I made last year. These are super cute. I loved these, and they were so simple and easy, but I'm, like, in love with them. They will be out every single year. And then the last of it really is right here. I made that a couple weeks ago from the Dollar Tree items as well. And then I guess that's it. Like here's the window. I have a pretty big window in the living room. So I like to hang garland from it and then take some white ribbon and just hang Christmas balls from it. I think it just adds a little bit to that big white window, but all in all, that is it, guys. There's stuff everywhere, in all honesty, <laughs> but kind of wanted to show you more of what was, you know, the things that I've made that you've seen me made, see me made, see me make, and show you that I do utilize them, and I think that it's absolutely adorable. It's just cute, right? I love it. But Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and until next time, bye now.